Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notification instantly. Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Arwani from learn-automation.com. So, in today's video, we'll see how we can run the non-AngularJS application using Protector. So till now we have seen how to automate uh, AngularJS application and Protector, but mostly like I will not say uh, every time you will get the AngularJS application. So sometimes uh, you also have to work with the non-AngularJS application, which is like a normal applications, right? So for that application, you cannot choose a separate framework. So let's say you have taken a couple of months to build a framework on Protector. Now you get a requirement to work on a non-AngularJS application. So how do you automate that application? Well, in Protector, you can also automate non-angular applications as well with a very small changes in your script okay and if you have built your concrete framework then very small changes you need to make in a framework and you can automate non-angular js applications as well so first of all we'll see what exactly error we will get once we start working with the non-angular js applications and what changes we need to make in order to run our normal applications okay so let me go back to my eclipse so this is the script which we have discussed in the previous videos. So this is actually an AngularJS application. So what I will do, I will just copy paste and I will say this is non, okay, non-Angular application. So I will simply change this. Okay, I will say this is my first non-angular application test and this test will submit a form now you can take any application so what exactly i will do i already have my application which i hosted long back in 2016 it's a very small registration page okay that i created for the demo purpose so this is actually a normal Java application you can fill it okay using protector so if you see here we already have some um, name attributes everything so what we will do first of all we'll change this URL okay so I will copy this URL and I will paste here in this particular uh, get method now I just have to fill certain Field. So let's say I want to enter something in the first name. So already I have a field called name. If you need to write the X path, you can write the X path. As of now, we already have a name. So I will say this is let's say Mukesh. Then I have last name. So let's say this is also a name field. So if you wish, again you can write X path CSS and you can pass here. As of now, our main intention is just to run a normal application. Now I can do any type click, whatever we have done already in the Selenium. Let's say I want to select this checkbox as well, which is map. This is also name. Again, it's a click. I will remove this. Now it's my another script, which is a non Angular JS application. Now, if I want to run this again, I have to make the changes in the configuration file. So if I want to run this, I will just say refactor and I will mention it okay now let me run this so already we have a terminal so this we discussed in the previous video how to start a terminal now if i want to run my script again i will say protector config 2.js and in config 2.js we have given non js or non angular application.js file sorry okay so now let's run this you can see a session started it is loading but it is not doing any operation you can see it is not doing any operation and let it fail it will give you one log okay and if you try to read this log Let's read from here. It says, could not find Angular on this page. So what exactly it is doing? It is trying to find an Angular control, which is definitely, it is not present. It says, again, retrying looking for Angular 
uh, like it is keep on trying so it says exceeded and now it will fail and again very simple message that angular could not be found on this page again if you think it is not a angular application then you may need to turn off the waiting for angular and they have already given a link as well see so it is just a spoon feeding which they have done and we just have to follow their instruction okay so you can see they have already given how to disable waiting for anglers uh, you just have to make certain true false and you can start a non angular js application as well okay so i have consolidated so what you need to do there are two approaches First of all, you can say browser ignores synchronization equal to true, then it will not wait for the angled controls. Okay, and uh, you can also call everything as browser.driver. So till now we are doing browser.get, element, right? Now you can change it to browser.driver.get, element, and so on. So when you have time, just go through this link. What I will do first of all, I will just copy this particular keyword and I will go back to our script, which is this. And at first line, I will say ignore synchronization. Okay, and uh, then I can continue. So now let's run the same program. This time you will see it will type Mukesh Atwani and it is clicking also one math uh, checkbox but it is running too fast so you are not able to see but uh, it is running our non AngularJS application with a small change in our script. Now if you want to see the report again just refresh you will see this report folder and if you come here report.html Okay, just now this got completed and if you see the inline screenshot you can see it uh, it filled the name and it clicked the checkbox as well right it's quite easy now another way also we can see okay if you don't want to add this particular um, sorry not this one if you don't want to add this particular sentence then you can directly say browser dot driver dot get okay so let's say driver dot get browser dot driver dot find element so this is also acceptable okay if you want to try just save this again go to the terminal and you can see it is working right so just uh, adopt any of this approach both will work and with this you can also run your non angular js application so now in the next video we'll see how we can run multiple uh, scripts and uh, then we'll move over to the cross browser testing and so on okay so if you have any other idea or approach which you have used just let me know in the comment section we can also discuss the different approaches which you have tried from your side okay that's all i have from this video thank you And guys, if you like my videos, then uh, you can subscribe to my channel. This is my channel where I have uploaded uh, uploaded on the different tools. And I keep uploading um, videos on different automation tools and technologies which will be coming in future. So if you would like to receive videos directly to your mailbox, you can click on the subscribe button. And uh, you can also click on this bell icon so that you will get the notification. Okay. Thank you so much, guys. Have a nice day.